Let me know they're inquisitionists. Let me know that they're colonists. So they should be dealt with according. And as soon as you have a situation where somebody claims that they have something in order to um, do a particular act that after inspection is, is really about violating you, you should be calling the next highest level individual to come deal with it. Because more than likely, it's not the sheriff that's issuing the warrant. Especially in our jurisdiction, where we know that the office of the sheriff is just an office, there's no sheriff in there. It's just an office called sheriff. Right? So if the individual given the warrant is not this individual, then somebody higher than constable, PC, um, whatever, needs to be called to the scene. Right? Because we know that we're dealing with a fraudulent jurisdiction. We know that we're dealing with a jurisdiction that, you know, they got stories of them killing people, choking people on the corner and, and doing certain things. So, you know, if, 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 if quote unquote police is a brotherhood, then we have to assume that what they do anywhere, they do here. And they have to be looked at according. Can't be looking at them, well, you know what well, I know, well, my cousin's police and he never shot nobody. That, that, ain't, that means nothing. Because really, he, I mean, he has that right not to. But many people abuse that right and they do it. Right? So they're, they're gonna they're, you're going to have situations where um, they're going to present present things and then the things that they present don't have power at law and then you ask yourself well why is it that they're claiming this power like why would they claim why would a why would a magistrate claim powers of a judge and sign a warrant for somebody to get kidnapped because that's been a pattern that they've been doing without being challenged They've been doing corrupt stuff without being challenged. And now the time has come where people are waking up information at your fingertips and anything can be found out. And once it's found out and you know that it's truth, if you don't stand up for truth, then you're down with a lie and you're down with, with everything else that's causing the problems of, of the people. Right? Um, and, and again, we, we employ Moors to take the position because we're dealing with colonists, mercenaries, inquisitionists, highwaymen, etc., that try to pe put, try to have yourself in a position where you don't have to get a warrant. Don't be in that position, because ninety-nine percent of the time it's a magistrate that's going to be signing it, not a judge, and they're going to use the fact that that magistrate who doesn't have judicial authority sign this paper to come and do whatever it is that they do. Especially if we have their instruments. We're, 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 we're in a corrupt jurisdiction allowing the corrupt to have jurisdiction without any challenges. And the, the best challenge that we can present to them is that we stand by certain principles. And once we don't violate those principles, justice is not going to take its course. So, to say that you even have a search warrant, there's an issue. With the individual who has a search warrant on him. Because the question is, why do you have a search warrant on you? Why is there a warrant from whatever county, state, pseudo state, de facto state, whatever, why do they even, like, why, why is your body even involved in matters dealing, dealing with, with such things? Why does is, why is a warrant even have to do with you? Obviously there's something that the individual has done, 
right? Whether they're in the right or wrong in doing whatever they did, doesn't matter. Point is that these colonists ha had their attention on this individual. And in order to deal with this individual, this is the route that they decided to take to deal with this individual, what, regardless of what the subject matter is, regardless of what the charges are, right? If that individual is of sound mind and living by the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, justice, they shouldn't have any issues with anybody. Like, there should be no issues with anybody. Because why would there be issues? If our first principle is love and somebody out there is pushing opposite of what our principle stands for, immediately we're not supposed to be around them. And, and you know, it, it's majority of issues that Moors have is because they're usually partaking in things relative to a jurisdiction that has nothing to do with them. Majority of time. Always attempting things without full knowledge. Trying to do things. Testing things out. See if they, let me see if this works and all that type of stuff. That's not where we're living right now. Right now we're living in, they would choke you out on the street or they would shoot you in the street and leave your body there for hours. That's all they're doing right now. So we have to recognize where their game is at and then where our game better not be because we know that they abuse their authority and this is not a thing of of um, um, fear of them or anything like that right it's it, it's 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 counterproductive to know that well, the robbers walk on this street, and then you're going to go on the street where the robbers are at, where all these other streets are on it. Why well, just go on another street? Well, you know, there's a birthright, and then we have a right to go. All right, well, do your thing. They got 50 other streets that you could use. But you want to use the street where the robbers are at. Because you want to test out your right to travel, because it's, you know, I'm supposed to be active, not passive. Those people kill people. Right? You've seen that they do that. So the best thing is not to get in stuff where you have stuff like warrants and stuff like that. But once you start getting into warrants and all that, then these people have jurisdiction to come get you. Whether you like it or not, they're going to assume the colorable jurisdiction and they're going to come get you. Just because they could do that. It doesn't matter if it's lawful or legal or whatever like that. They can do it. Just like somebody could pop the door right now, hold everybody up. It, it could be done. Is that going to happen? No, because that's why we have somebody at the door. Right? You had something, Kenta? Oh, I was just going to say, um, in regards to what you're saying, it just seems that um, it all boils down to the divine aspect, being that, you know, as you said, like, don't, don't go places where you shouldn't be. So if your mind and your thoughts are pure and clean, you know, you have no reason to be attracting any search warrants coming at your door right. or anyone coming and asking questions that have nothing to do with you. So it pretty much starts with the divine aspect where, where are your thoughts? You right. know, show me your friends or show me your environment and I'll tell you what you think and talk to Exactly. You know, exactly. You also, know. you mentioned a lot of these people who are in situations where they have warrants, it's old situations that follow them into the nationality. Yeah. That follow yeah. them into the nationality, right? So most of those things are things that should have been dealt with beforehand. Right. And they follow them into it, you know what I mean? Any other um, questions, comments? You got um search warrant there? Um, <clears throat> yeah, search warrant. An order in writing issued by a justice or other magistrate in the name of the state directed to a sheriff, constable, or other officer commanding him to search a specified house, shop, or other premises for personal property alleged to have been stolen or for unlawful goods and to bring the same when found before the magistrate and usually also the body of the person occupying the premises to be dealt with according to law. So let's search one. All right. 
So we want to stay away from warrants. It's, it's because it's a tool. It's, it's a it's a slave tool that they use to get to claim jurisdiction. It's not it's not a a, a de jure um, process. You know what I mean? Like when we say when we say me mentality of warrant supposed to be like Billy the Kid and, and those type of stuff. That's warrant. Amount on it, wanted dead or alive or whatever like that. That's warrant. Stuff that they're doing right now, that's not warrant. That's just try to steal people's stuff. Steal people's property, just like they said, try to get the body. And a lot of these search warrants, uh, they go against the Constitution. You're right. The Constitution says um, no one using search or seizure. Right. But a lot of these words are against the Constitution. Exactly. But you already know from the get go it's unlawful from the beginning. And then, and then, and keep in mind that that well, when we say. Or oh, they're doing something unlawful. We're talking about a track record of unlawful activity, right? It's not just we're against police or we're against warrants or we're against you know attorneys or whatever. They have a track record of doing things wrong with the power that they that they have. So because they have that track record, is why we're sort of taking the defense in dealing with them in, in certain with, with certain things. Like when uh, more say that they're gonna um, start exercising right to travel. That's a track record of abuse that somebody's realized and they're deciding to stand up for the fact that this abuse been going on. So, um, um, parents talking about they don't want to get birth certificates and all that. Because there's a track record of what happens if you have a birth certificate. So logically, if you know that that you know this track record leads to to something not in your favor, you're gonna try to find a different route in order to deal with what you're dealing with. So this is really what what it is that that you know what I mean? we're we're doing. You know, we're not against authority and anything like that, or we're not against courts and we're not against whatever. We are recognizing that we've been getting played for so long under the guise of quote unquote lawful whatever when really and truly they haven't been lawful and they haven't been doing anything lawful. It doesn't look like they're gonna do anything lawful. So it's probably in our best interest that we start looking at our, our, our conditions and how we can deal with our conditions differently. And a and majority of it starts with the individual realize it just like what what um brother supreme was saying like you know like you you can't you can't know that well i got into this situation before that i'm a more and then now that you're a more you're trying to deal with the situation as a more when you've dealt with the situation as negro black color for the past four years mm -hmm. why would they take anybody why would they take you serious right now we go back again. The perfect world, that's how serious it is. You go up there, let them know, sorry, I'm not in the jurisdiction. Challenge you guys' authority, show me your delegation of authority order. If they can't prove it, then they should dismiss it. They should dismiss it automatically, regardless of what, what it is. Whether it's in a court, out of court, on the street, whatever. If they can't prove that they have authority to do whatever it is that they're doing, then they're in default. Because they should be able to, to show that they have authority to do certain things when they're asked. They should be able to pull it out, just like they want you to pull out a license. They should be able to pull something out to show that they have certain authority. And if they don't pull anything out, immediately know that they're criminals. 